All right, story time. This is the most desirable set of cards for Star Wars Unlimited right now because there's not many in the world. There's only few conventions that you can get this box of cards. And they are currently, if I'm not mistaken, on eBay, you can buy this for like $500, if I'm not mistaken. Inside, there's going to be a set of six cards, I think, that we know what they're going to look like because it's not a booster pack. It's a set of promos, so you always get the same cards inside. But they are very desirable because they have alternative arts from the cards that you can get from the expansion. There are two... Because we have currently two Star Wars Unlimited sets already out in the market. Third one is coming in November. But this box already has two cards from this third set that is not released yet. You cannot play with them in a tournament, but you're able to just have them in your collection in an alternative art. So it's already like a promo that is very desired, desired by collectors. Now, typically, if I would buy this for myself, I would probably keep it wrapped, not open it, because it might probably rise in value over time. But the thing is, those things can only be gotten, as I said, on the convention. And so happens that my close friend, Hakobo, um, went to GenCon, Gen Con, to US, uh, because he just wanted to spend some vacation there and visit. And I asked him, could he try to get it to me? I didn't know how much effort it will actually be. And believe it or not, my friend, Hakobo, spent, that's what he said, I think 15 hours in queue all together to try to get those because they had limited amount every day. And he had to st stand up, sorry, wake up at like 5 a.m. to go and stand in a line to maybe get one of these. I told him that he should get one for himself as well because they will sell for a lot. It's like you can buy this at an event for $100, but you can insta sell it for like 400 to 500. Now, I had no idea that it's going to be such a big effort. So there's 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 a bad thing that I'm going to say right now, but wait till the end, okay? Hakobo said 15 whatever hours, right? Doesn't matter, even if it's 10 hours, even if it's 5 hours. But it, it's a lot, it's a lot, right? So I would like to believe that he lied about it. Because if he didn't lie about standing in line for 15 hours, that means he's mental. But he's a fucking W friend. And because of that, he created, for me, a very emotional connection to this item. Because I know... That my friend sacrificed so much of his free time to get this for me. Which means that now I will never sell this. This is something that I will cherish. This is something that is going to be a, a very special, will have a very special place in my collection. Because I know how much it did cost, quote unquote, because it's not about the cash. Right? For me to get this. And for my friend to get this. You know? So, this, this is uh, like... And that friend is, by the way, Vitz. Who is here right now in chat. Thank you, Vitz. This is really like... I, I can't even explain. This is like an incredibly big commitment. I, I don't think my wife would have done for me what you did. <laughs> you know? So, let's open this. Let's cherish this moment together. Um, and then, yeah. And I'm gonna play with those cards as well. You know, oh, wait, wait, wait. I need to get some sleeves. Uh, ahead of time. One second. One second. Some sleeves here. Um, shit, where are my sleeves? Oh my god. But one second, guys. I got him. Got him, got him. Okay, got some sleeves over here. So, 
Let's open this. Beautiful box, by the way. It's it's textured, right? It looks premium, although it's just cardboard. The red is like metallic as well. Very nice. Now, what do, how do I open this? Do I pull it? Yeah. Okay. It's coming out. That's what she said. Oh, wow. Wait, I think this is it. You can you can pull it out more. Oh, it's in a paper pack. Okay. Is there something else here? Wait. No. We're just getting baited. Okay. Alright. So we're gonna leave this out here. And here we have the cards. We can already see the first one, which is Count Dooku. All right, let's open this. Ah, value lost. Okay, let's watch the cards. Whoa. Oh my. A foil Count Dooku. <laughs> Thank you for that. Beautiful card. It's oil foil and it's a surge foil. Very minimalistic. Incredibly nice. Now, wait, wait a second. I will show you one moment because I should have come to as well high. here. One second. I, I'm going to tell you. I can't show hold you. it anymore. Uh, ah, how this card looks in a normal edition. One second, I'm gonna pull it out. That's what she said. <laughs> you can't even I'm just call me for the wall and smoke and I bet one hundred dollars you didn't even want to try to do that fucking right. <laughs> I'm gonna turn off the points. I'm sorry, I'm just muting the notifications so you guys will lose points if you do that. So look. This is the same card. But this is the promo, and this is the original. You can see the difference over here, right? It's the same art, but it has different different treatment. It has, like, a foiling that you will not find normally. And as you can see, it doesn't have the blues and so on. So it doesn't show the colors of the card, because it's all black. Right? All right, let's check the next one. It's so cool, man. We got the Darth Vader. Oh my god, this this card slays. Holy shit. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Wow. I have like foil um I have foil Vaders that are in hyperspace, but this just blows it out of the water. Crazy card. Holy crap. Absolutely lovely. Man, this is sick. What a beautiful card. Wait, I need to put them in, a, in the sleeve already. One second. Okay. Wait, let's do it this way. So I don't show the next card already. Man, this Vader is going straight into my deck. Because I play with Vaders when I play green, green, uh, black villains. And this one is just absolutely beautiful. All right, next card. Let's put it from the back, maybe. Darth Maul. And this is a card from the next expansion. So this is not a card that I can use in any of my decks right now. 
Because this card is going to be eligible to play in November with the release of the next set. So we get like a sneak peek of it. And it's a decent card as well. Like, it's an actually decent card. Like, it's a, it has decent stats. Five mana, five, six. It's a green, black. Um, no, sorry, not green. Uh, red. Red, black. Um, and uh, it can two, attack two units at once. It's, I, I would say it's probably playable. Not like super super overpowered, but look at look at the look at the uh, foiling of the face of the card. You know, you see how his tattoos or like whatever the, this is are shining. Beautiful. All right, you go into a sleeve as well. Next card. You. And that's another card from the new, from the set that wasn't released yet. Asajj Ventress. Now this one, I don't believe it's gonna be like super playable, but it's still pretty fucking cool. Looking awesome over here. Okay. Next one. We have two cards left. Kylo Ren. Unfortunately, I don't have a Kylo Ren with me because it, I have it, the card at home, but I could have shown you how it looks next to the normal uh, version. But this one is just so much more beautiful. It's crazy. It looks lovely. Playable legendary, by the way. Uh, not at the level like Darth Vader, for example, but still pretty playable card. And it looks insane as well. My god, those cars are so beautiful. Still, Vader looks the absolute best. Let's see how Palpatine looks. Last card of this set. It's gonna be Palpatine. Pretty fucking cool. Holy shit. And the foiling is on the face, right? You can see that it has a texture. Like, every single one of those foils is putting, like, a small texture on the character. It's like you can barely feel it under your finger. So it's like it, there's a small additional layer of, of whatever, I don't know, foil or paint or whatever it is, paper. I don't know, it's super thin, but it showcases the, 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 the character. And there's additional foiling on the symbols as well, right? Awesome. And this one is very playable. If you play a, a red control deck, Palpatine is a three off in a deck. Or maybe two off. But it's like, it's an incredibly playable card. You know? And you know what's funny is that when when I told Verds about uh, those cards and getting them for the, for me, I, I asked, could you get three sets of this for me? Because I would like to have play sets. <laughs> <laughs> and here I am just incredibly happy. I I was even able to get one set. You know, it's like, bro, who knew those are gonna be so desired by the community? But it's This is just stunning. Beautiful, stunning card. Incredible, man. I'm gonna have to triple sleeve my deck from now on, I think. You know? Buy it of eBay? No, I'm not going to spend $500 on a set of promo cards. Incredibly. Incredibly well done, and, and it's so beautiful. Verts, again, Jacobo, thank you so much for this. You don't know how much this means. Like, I mean, it means even more for me than for you. F like, your behavior, you know? The way you, 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 you sacrifice your own free time to get this for me. Really... Insane. Beautiful set. I wonder if they're gonna be releasing like kits like this for every single year, like during events. We'll see. They're probably gonna go down in cards. Uh, sorry, down in price if they if they're gonna release a set like this, like in a in a secondary portion this year or something. But I don't think that will happen. So 
they're going to be pretty rare. All right.